I'm going to teach you how to throw a world-class front kick. I'm not going to give you a free, complete game plan in order to you dominate your fight. And at the end of the video, I'm going to teach you the technique that made me won the national GB kickboxing competition last year. Plus a bonus, one of the greatest techniques in order to avoid the front kick. All right, front kick technique step by step. Start slow following the single steps I'm going to give you. Always have a target in mind. One, knee higher than the target. Two, knee forward. Three, recoil. Four, back in a fighting stance. From the side. One, two, three, four. All right, key point. Keep your leg light. But hey, have you subscribed to the channel? This is very important for us and for you. Sharp Shield is a rising channel. More key points. Are you dropping your hands? Are you dropping your hands? Keep your hand up. You cannot power to your kick by just moving your shoulders. One, keep your hands up. Two, kick. Three, back in your fighting stance. Body weight in the middle. Not on the back, not on the front foot. No here, you're gonna get punched. No here, you can't move. Kick, back here in the middle. Now try to make everything smooth and in one motion. Practice with the front leg now. You can do it on a spot or you can skip. You can do it on a spot or you can skip. Most common mistake when you're skipping, skipping too much, this is too much. You just move one inch and kick and back. Second bigger mistake, moving first, the front foot. Watch this. You see me moving. Now, watch this. You don't see me moving. So it's not guys. It's a sudden movement. You're moving and you're skipping. And that's it. You don't want to show you kicking. I know it's a lot, so feel free to come back and rewatch all the sequence, all the points, until you feel good with that. All right, game plan. But before, if you're enjoying this video, you find it useful, please click the like button. First thing first, you want to start with a strong front kick. You want to make the other guy feel it. The worst thing that may happen is that the guy is going to counter in you. So that's why you need to master all the points we explain in the technique. Yeah, hands up, balance, finish with balance. That's mandatory. So what can happen now? One, you hit the guy. Two, the guy is covering. Three, he's powering. Four, he's grabbing you and throwing you. All these four cases are good for you. First two, you hit the guy, he's hurting, he's now worrying about your kick. Number two, he's covering, he's feeling the power, he's worrying about your kick. Number three, he's powering, that's exactly what you want him to do. Number four, he's destroying you, that's good, he's making very confident, he's gonna try to do it again. You wanna enter in his mind. You're now moving, you're jabbing. You front kick again to make him expect you to front kick another time. And now boom, you throw a bomb in his face. All right, option one. This works very well with the lead front kick. So phase one, you lift the knee high. You have to throw the knee high. If you lift the knee here, the other guy is not going to react. If the other guy is not going to react, it's not going to work. One, knee high. Two. Drop step and punch. How do you drop step? Same technique of the front kick. Hip coming forward, boom. This cross is slightly different from a straight cross, A to B. You go straight at the very end, you drop it slightly your hands. Slightly mean slightly. You don't want to hang your head like this. You keep want to finish in your fighting stance, all right? and you're gonna generate an incredible power. You're gonna, if you get the guys, you're probably gonna knock him down. 
Second option, question mark kick. So you come in a straight line and then you rotate. That's why it's called question mark. So you go straight and rotating. This is different from a runner's kick. With this kick, don't go for power. Go for speed. This is one of those techniques that makes everyone go like, whoa! And it makes feel your opponent dominated. So again, use the front kicks. Then use question marks. Coming in, punching, move around, and then back in the front kick. That's confusing for your opponent. He doesn't know what you're hitting next. He doesn't know what's the best defense. And this is when you start moving back, because that's the safer thing. And that's how the third option works better, works as magic. And if you follow this blueprint, you're gonna have a great result. Now, a technique that is preparatory for the next combination is our bonus movement. This is what we call size lip punch, or it's a pivot punch too. And that's the technique. The heel of the front foot has to be up. The hips and the shoulders are rotating quickly. That's the movement. At the same time, you're gonna throw a front punch. And this is the best offense when a front kick is coming. All right, Kickboxing GB National Championship. Last year, I competed as a master, meaning an old man. <laughs> and as an old man, I'm not allowed to go full contact. Still, it's common to have some nice knockout in the fights. On the final, my opponent was a guy from Scotland. I was taller, but he was far stronger than me, and he had a very good base. So every time we were close enough, he overwhelmed me when his weight, and I even lose my composure. So very soon I decided to use my range, keep it from the distance, use my angles, and my front kick, obviously. And I have to say, that guy was tough, but I made this combination that make him lose the will to keep fighting, and then I won easily. So, in the last option, we're gonna combine the front kick and the side slip punch. What you are gonna do is fake the front kick and land forward externally. Yes, we are gonna switch the stance. At the same time, you wanna pivot and punch. So you wanna land in a side slip punch. I'm gonna show you how. Obviously, from here, you call the follow-ups. You keep attacking. Now you are in a very dominant position because the guy is not facing you anymore and you are facing the guy. What happens if you are in an open stance? Meaning one orthodox and one southpaw. Well, instead of kicking with the back leg, you kick with the front leg, same thing. And if you want to get very good, train all those techniques from both guards. Training and test it. Let us know what would you like next, but hey, wait. This tutorial here is the next step to perfect your striking game.